Hello everybody, Blackfang here. Today, I'm bringing you guys the third build, I believe, of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. This is a cleric build, the cleric knight, whatever you wish to call it. So as a faith user, uh, starting straight out here, I'll show you my stats. And uh, So this is probably the highest health I'm ever going to have in a build, as I generally like to keep my health low, uh, keep matches fast, but, you know... It's whatever you guys want. If you want less endurance, more health, go for that too. Uh, just 40-40 right now. 14 vitality, which is kind of a must for this build. No flinzering. 30 attunement for 6 slots. And 20 strength and 13 dex to use the weapons I wish. 5 adaptability as uh, with my starting class. I started with 91 agility and that's 90 is all you need honestly. 6 intelligence and 36 face so that you can use the spells going into my equipment. I'm using the Defender's Great Sword, and whenever that gets low on durability, as it has a low amount and a self buff, which takes down a lot of its durability, you swap out to the Sun Sword plus 10. Uh, you get this, you can get it pretty early. Uh, you must rank up to level 2, I believe, in the Sunlight Covenant doesn't take too long, but it's uh, very fun. You can uh, put lightning on it if you want and buff it with sunlight blade, which is what I'm carrying. Or you can uh, get the battle axe if you want to. You can also use that weapon, which is extremely good, and put lightning on it. You can use sunlight blade. Either of those two. Lightning clutch ring, ring of blades plus two, lingering dragon ring, and royal soldier's ring plus one. And I'll show you the outfit that I'm wearing. The fashion souls if you wish slumbering dragon shield uh, so that it kinda gets that cleric fill uh, something I'm gonna start doing with my builds is actually coming up with a uh, this is a role playing game so you can create the story of your character so this was this is a knight that was uh, exiled from the land of uh, the first DLC I can't remember the name right now Shilva, sorry, and he came to Drain Lake to prove himself, so, yeah, it's something I'm going to start adding since, you know, I do lore videos and stuff for Bloodborne, I figured I may as well start giving a lore explanation of my character, so, yeah, but let's crank in the matches and we'll go into techniques and stuff, I'll see you guys then. Alright, oh, you rude turd, man. Alright, so, self buff, L2 two handed, and I think, no, this guy isn't using us. What is this guy using? Oh my word, that, like. Alright, so, uh, this guy knows what's up with uh, those animation cancels. So right there you saw the power of the R2, it's pretty legit, and I uh, just got a nice back step parry right there. Uh, this thing does about 2,000 damage on a uh, parry repost. Now, the thing with the self buff I'll go into real fast is uh, obviously you can't parry with uh, the great sword two handed, which is a big downfall. However, uh, it adds more than more attack rating than sunlight blade, which really, really is crazy how much damage this thing can do. So, as long as you practice and get used to uh, not trying to super parry every five seconds uh, you should be good oh, I'm getting invaded all right and uh, I'll go into different techniques um, R1 after R1s do R2s and uh, you if you land the R1 that is and you'll do a pretty nice pseudo combo that can land about a thousand five hundred damage on a full combo it's it's pretty OP how these uh, R2s are, especially uh, not that one. Sorry, I meant to two hand. This this does about a thousand seven hundred, which is enough to kill someone. So it's it's pretty legit. Come on now, I ain't got all day. All right, but yeah, those uh, R2s delayed will catch people back rolling and it tracks pretty good to uh, match someone's roll. Alright, I'll just go ahead and buff while he's buffing. And uh, yeah, we'll be good. 
Okay, what's he using? A katana. Yeah. Why did that not track? Unlock, probably, for those, uh... And, uh, should be pretty good. Two-handed. So, if you want to, like, catch someone off guard, two-hand and then immediately, like, R1, and they won't be expecting... Oh, see you right there, man? The, uh... I even did it. Alright, so, did an R1, immediately put the R2 into it to catch that guy's roll. I probably should have rolled out of the way if that wasn't, like... Had pretty good connection. That would have definitely hit me. Why? My controller is so freaking jacked up. I'm hitting the roll button and I swear it's not doing anything. He's gonna heal? No? Okay, he's liking his rolling attacks right now. That should have been a parry. And he R1 spam too much. Okay, GG, I guess. I sh could have done a lot better that game. A lot better, but yep, didn't do it. But yeah, you can catch people like that. Just walk up and then, uh, well, not like that. Jeez, two hand. Make sure the two handed animation goes all the way through, though, as you can cancel it with a R1. So uh, yep, just keep that in mind, and you'll trick people up. All right, I'll see you in the next door. Alrighty, bunny hunter. And he has an interesting looking build. Really, bro? Okay. I'm gonna try to like pivot backstab him. Yeah. Alright, so use that tracking to your advantage and uh, try to pick people off. I should have R2'd again. Okay. So. He rolled into me, and he kind of had to right there, so I just put out the other R1, and, uh, alright, there we go. You can see 1,200 damage. Pretty legit. Alright, GG, man. Yeah, but if someone rolls right here, just put the other R1 out, and if they're still close to you, put another R1 out, or you can try to track them with the R2 and get that combo in. And we're running in. Filio Testa. Yep. Everyone uses Sacred Oath. It's so good. But, uh. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for telling me that you're a, uh. You're a chugger. That should have been a parry, sorry. I don't know. Maybe I did it too early. So he backed up my attack, so I throw out an R2. Okay. Did that backstab a bit too early, but, uh... What on earth? If that killed me... Dude, that is such cheat. Oh my word. Face stab. I don't know, it seemed like he was lagging, though. Because, like, he must have seen me just standing and facing him. Because he, like, pivoted. And I am being invaded, alright. Come on, bro. Come on in. Don't be shy. You're going to die. Bad linens. Linens? I don't know. I'm bad with names. Even fake ones. Alright, what's up, man? Alright. R1 bait. Fall for it again, man? Really? Alright, yeah, people fall for that all day. Yep. Walk up parry. Just threw a knife. GG. Yeah, but the cookie cutter moveset on these great swords, man, they are super, super good. But, uh, people see them so often that I just summon someone accidentally out of habit. But that's alright. So many people get used to seeing it so they'll know how to counter basically everything so you're really gonna have to pull out some uh, animation cancels rolling attacks just 
be absolutely almost random with it and just hope you kind of get lucky because you know moveset is a little on the slow side so they can absolutely react to absolutely everything you do Alright, Masator Ozanze. Alright, so we're gonna try the two handed moveset on this, and I understand if you aren't gonna let me buff. Yeah, Mimicad, I'll take the damage. You know, if you let me heal, I'll fight the other guy. Ain't no pivot today. And you're dead. Alright. Bye bye. Hello. Where did the other guy go? Okay, whatever. See ya. Alrighty. Venom Butterfly. Alright, and uh, just in case I forget to say this. Uh, at the end of this video, there is a really, really cool uh, video that I'm going to show that I haven't been able to repeat, so uh, yeah, stay tuned for all that stuff, and hopefully you can understand what I'm saying. That is some cheats. Bro, you should have buffed earlier. I'm not letting you do all that stuff. Oh, well, uh, this guy is just spam happy, isn't he? Oh, if I would have had more stamina and he would have actually fell for it, he could have shot off the uh, R2 bait. Uh huh. And jab, 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 jab. Whoa, 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 whoa. How is your health getting back that much? Oh, wait, I can't pivot backstab him. Dude, is this guy hacking or something? Bro, how is your health regenerating so fast? Seriously. What the actual crap? Did he seed me too? Seriously, tell me. I've seen that before. Is that like a hack or something? Jake1998. And I saw another health bar back there, sadly. Oh, it's another. <laughs> that was kind of funny to see. Oh, it's a Havel mage. Oh, fine. Oh, crap. He's using invisible weapons. Come on, bro, let's go. Owl mage scared of me or something. Come on, fight me. Come on. Alright. Warp sword, really? And R1 spam. And the phantom range. Go to the Ala land. And they're trying to gank me. Nice job on that one. And get parried. <laughs> they must be friends or something. Yeah, you freaking cheaters. Oh, the host killed me! That's what it was. His R1 Phantom Range killed the crap out of me. Well, there you go. Skill kills them all. Alright, everyone. Alright everyone, so hope you enjoyed the build. Check it out, it's pretty fun to use. Uh, I love the greatsword moveset. It's probably my favorite moveset in the game, honestly. But uh, super good, you should try it out. Uh, even, not the moveset or the greatsword, but, you know, the build. Uh, that was an interesting last fight there with the gank and the freaking getting killed by the host. But uh, it was fun nonetheless. Had some good duels there. Um, I am going to show that clip that I was talking about earlier, and it's probably going to be a highlight tomorrow from uh, 
just as a random video to upload, but uh, if you just want the gist of it, um, I actually did something called a dead angle, where it kind of hits behind you whenever it shouldn't, and uh, it's kind of weird. So like, right there at the end where it hits the ground, the guy's like standing right here where the sign should be, and it hits him, so it's pretty whack actually, and I haven't been able to figure out how I did it. Maybe it was just lag, and it was that spin around the back that actually connected, but, you know, it's interesting nonetheless, so I hope you enjoy the build. I'm getting invaded. Alright, well, we'll go out with this build. No calm. Just, just glory. Thank you.